is bad. Hit it. Ha. Sand Hit it. and. Ha. Oh God. Ha. What's Hit up it. with you? Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Interested in promoting your brand, business, or talent on Hip Hop News Uncensored? Hit me up right now at advertise at hiphopun.com. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. Hit me ASAP. Very affordable rates. Now to our regularly scheduled program list. Former cash money artist BG has a message for everybody behind bars. He needs everybody to know what's going on with him. And he's pretty much demanded that he be released right now. But respectfully, before I get to the letter that BG wrote that he needs a judge and everybody to hear, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button, share the video. And if you want to advertise your business, your product, your service, in the first 10 to 15 seconds on this video, you can email us right now at advertise at hiphopun.com. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. And the link is at the top line of the description box. We're ready for you right now. And like I said, about 10 years ago, BG was sentenced to 14 years in the feds for gun possession and witness, witness tampering. And he just wrote this letter to the feds that he put, I respectfully contend that enough is enough. I get the point that the government aimed to impart on me with this prosecution and harsh sentence. I respectfully move this court to sympathize with the misguided boy I was and have enough compassion, enough faith in the man I've become in order to return to my family and career. Now, he also says, you know, he's going to take or he has taken full responsibilities in his actions and said that, look, I was a product of violence, death, despair, negative influence, drugs, and poverty, and the inherent distrust of law enforcement from growing up in New Orleans in the 1980s and 90s. Um, Golden says his music, his music was a reflection of that upbringing. Um, he went on to say, right, my struggles were confessed to the world, my personal conflicts, my battle with drug addiction. Um, and yeah, yeah, so he, he you know, <sighs> tough, tough right there because I definitely agree with everything, everything, everything that he's saying. But let me read a little bit more. He he went on to say that um, he has come to realize I'm responsible for my circumstance, my misperceptions, my actions, and invited law enforcement to target me, right? He also goes on to say um, he'll return to his full career. I'm aware that I'm more popular today. Than I was prior to my arrest. He has four children. He goes on to say there are many injustices that are subjects in today's national debate. And I like to weigh in on, contribute my voice, influence, and help to resolve. I intend to spend the remainder of my career atoning through my actions for my missteps of my early years. That's definitely respectful. And he's probably at the breaking point at this point. I mean, you got 10 years in. You got four left. You're definitely a different person that you were back then. And, I mean, it's just gun possession, man. I mean, <laughs> it's a gun possession charge, witness tampering. Okay, I see. You know, but um, from my understanding, nobody was hurt. Nobody was killed. So, maybe, yeah, I agree that the sentence was definitely harsh. And we, we, see, we see this happening, you know, across the board. But this is just a microcosm of the system and how it has Fair and unjust treatment towards blacks and minorities all across the board, man. All you got to do is look at the, the, the statistics of what's going on. But, um, yeah, again, he's currently set to be released in 2024. So he got a few years left, you know, really three now. And um, that's according to public records. And hopefully, hopefully, you know, um, when he does get out, that he can atone, that he can try to do better because... I agree. I agree. I mean, you we're all responsible for our actions. I'm not trying to take anything away from that. But when somebody's put into a situation, and I'm not making an excuse. I'm just giving you what it is. Right. When you're put into an environment and you're not given the same equal opportunity and you have different um, traps that ensnare you, you know, chances are, you know, a percentage, a high percentage of the people are going to fall Victim, I was actually looking at um, 
I was looking at this video on Facebook today, and it had like a um somebody they put it was all these rats, right? It was like an experiment, and they put rats outside of this tank, and then they put food inside the tank. And at first, all the rats were eating outside the tank, right? And then, as soon as one rat went up and went inside the tank, all the rats. After about five minutes, they followed that one rat. It was food in there, so they ate, and then they got stuck in there. And I'm saying all that to say that, yeah, maybe one or two, maybe 10, maybe 20 of them might not have went in there. And some might even make it out. But for the majority of them, they get caught up in what's going on. So you got to give a man a second chance. You got to give a man a second chance, like he said, atone for what he did. And hopefully, you know, he can make it better when he comes out. Maybe his lyrics won't be the same no more. Maybe he comes out and gives a different type of message when he comes out. So... I'm optimistic that he definitely, you know, the judge will look at this and hopefully release him. But then he made it say, you know what? Nah, you're going to sit in there. You're going to wait because I gave you this sentence and I want you to finish this sentence. So nevertheless, man, I'm a digress, man. I want you guys to leave a comment below. Let me, let me know what you guys think about BG's letter. He um, proposed to the judge and all the other people that care. Do you think he should be released? Do you think his sentence was cruel and unusual punishment? I mean, 10 years for gun possession and witness tampering. Wow. Wow. Leave a comment below. Smash the like button. Make sure you share the video. Like I said, if you want to advertise the first 10 to 15 seconds before our video, you can uh, hit, hit me up right now. Advertise at hiphopun.com. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. The link is at the top line of the description box. Hurry because slots are definitely, definitely filling fast. It's your boy, Ogaman Hip Hop News Central. Over and out. Peace.